Hi, hi, this is Christine Blackledge Crow here and welcome to How to Decide What Business to Start. Episode 3, Healthcare Business 101. Top 5 Healthcare Tips in Medical Innovation to Look for in 2022. This is the third episode of the series Healthcare Business 101 and this video is part of my free series and I'm going to discuss with you how to run a metaverse healthcare business. I will talk about the top five healthcare businesses that you can do. You can do this from home without renting an office. So in this video, I'll be discussing the top five healthcare business tech with you. This has increased at a fast pace due to individual service users, patients, now having the choice of where they want their care delivered. So, multidisciplinary teams such as doctors, mental health teams, care providers, nursing staff are now delivering care online. With the release of the interim guidance on what good looks like for digital care records in 2022, the Care Quality Commission has shown its commitment to supporting providers who use the care platform, especially in regards to achieving outstanding inspections. I will explain some of the ways electronic care can support good outcomes who use the service. What's the best way to move your business into the metaverse? Metaverse is an $800 billion industry. Today we're going to talk about the top ideas in the metaverse space that's the online space hit like and subscribe to the youtube channel so like the video here there's a button which you can click and you'll be able to like our videos and you'll get updates for when we have new videos coming out just keeping you informed as much as possible in the healthcare business tech arena for example so start your business now with our training in our healthcare business startups. Our classes are online, they're over three days, they're uh, interactive, they're live workshops as well. So in 2022, the pandemic only accelerated some already established trends in digital health. So I expect to see more emphasis on A1 solutions, remote care and also home tests as points of care keep shifting to whatever the patient wants and also where they are, okay? So the five ideas to consider when building your healthcare tech business is, I'm going to discuss five top niches. So the first one is virtual healthcare. Virtual healthcare refers to the use of technology, including telephones, videos, mobile apps, text-based messaging and other communication platforms for delivering health services to patients outside of a health system, for example. These technologies enable virtual care, but virtual care is more than these technologies. Virtual healthcare is actual provision of care to patients remotely through the use of technology. Virtual care includes entire provisions of care, but also it is a range of categories and solutions designed to provide a remote-based service to patients that use the healthcare system. So virtual healthcare is essential to reaching and serving people, addressing the resources of the staff shortages as well. So virtual healthcare can be useful for providing a second opinion, consultations with, for example, chronic condition management and also remote monitoring of certain conditions. Virtual healthcare is known as telehealth and telemedicine. These terms limit virtual healthcare capacities. In whole or in part, virtual healthcare is the ability to remotely see and engage a patient who is outside the office no matter what technology is being used to, 
to do so. However, providing virtual care agency working from home and it's the quickest and easiest entry into starting to provide a virtual care service. You do not need to be registered with the Care Quality Commission, also known as the CQC, for example, because you'll be introducing personal assistants who are self-employed to deliver the care to the private paying clients, for example. You can do this via Zoom to assess a patient's needs or use a telephone to take initial inquiries. And then the personal assistants who are self-employed will go out and deliver the care. And this can be done from home. So why virtual healthcare use is increasing? More than 96% of healthcare systems expect to expand their virtual healthcare capacities because several drivers come in legislation, health payers, influence and consumers. Forthcoming legislation is expected to make it easier for providers to obtain revenue for virtual care providers, which historically the ability to re receive payment for the services was hindered. Number two, recruitment nursing agency. Providing a recruitment nursing agency can be done from home, virtually as well, using your telephone, mobile app, laptop for your business. This is where the company provides qualified staff, i.e. nurses, support workers, to go into hospitals, residential care homes, private hospitals, for example, to deliver care and nursing medical needs. You do not need to be registered with CQC to do this, because the organisations are already registered with the Care Quality Commission. So, number three, virtual mental health services. To provide uh, virtual mental health services, patients offer 24-7 access to short-term solutions focused counselling can be used via an app, web or phone. This can also be for employees as well as service users and family members. Providing that the counsellor is qualified and has a master's degree or higher qualification. Now, A1 and human driven digital mental health apps are being used more frequently now. Mental health is soaring. The COVID pandemic is driving economic, enormous demand for virtual mental health care services. So if you're qualified, then you could look at providing that services. Teletherapy providers have seen record uptake since March and the need for mental health support appears to be growing as patients confront the stress of the pandemic and social crises. Number four, telehealth care. Telehealth care technology provides the ability for the connection with the patient, whether via telephone or video conferencing equipment, encompassing the tech that the connects the provider with a patient. Digital health or digital health care is a broad multidisciplinary concept that includes concepts from an interaction between technology and health care. Digital health applies a digital transformation to the healthcare field, incorporating software, hardware and services. And bearing in mind that you must also ensure that you are registered with the ICO because you're holding people's information, their privacy, data needs to be secure and you need to be registered and have a certificate to say that you do so for your organisation. So under its umbrella, digital health includes mobile health, apps, electronic health records, electronic medical records, wearable devices, telephone, healthcare, telemedicines, as well as personalised medicine. Number five, digital healthcare. 
Digital health innovations are designed to help save time, boost efficiency and combine technology in the way that's new to healthcare. These innovations can meld medicine and the Internet of Things, mHealth and IoT, medicine, reality, AR and blockchain and EMRs as well. So there's a few things for you to think about. I've discussed the five top niches that you could be doing in your healthcare business, which is virtually online. Please do like and subscribe because we have got more series, more trainings for you to learn about and to look at what type of healthcare business that you want to do or maybe you want to start now. We are doing boot camps every single month for you to join us like the other directors that have started their business and I would love to hear from you. Please do click the link here, book a 30 minute strategy call with us and I can talk to you or my team can talk to you. I look forward to hearing from you very soon. Do check out our website, like our video, subscribe so that you can get more informed information and I'd love to speak with you and let's look forward to the series four. Thank you so much for being here. Goodbye. I'm living the life. I woke up this morning and I thank God for the day. I know things ain't what they could be, but I got a smile on my face. No more tears, no more fears. They won't get the best of me no more. I can stand still or I can move.